Wait until you see how super cute these yummy earrings turned out. Part two of ladybug and watermelon earrings. I couldn't find my buttercream color, so I decided to mix some white and just an ivory color I had. See if I can come up with something light enough to resemble watermelon flesh. I think so. That got pretty light. Cause we don't need a lot of it. We just wanna make it look like it's a part of the rind. Perfect. So now, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna use that same brush we had. I'm just gonna put it across there a little bit. See if I can do it really gently. Cause I don't want it to be too much. I just wanted to look you know, like where the rind and the pink part of the watermelon start. You know, where you get to the good stuff and then the good stuff ends, it's like, dang, like it's all gone now. And you keep trying to get as close to that white part, which has ex absolutely no taste to it. <laughs> yeah, anybody that likes watermelon knows that I mean, my children do not like watermelon. I'm like, I'm not sure I'm their, I'm their mother. Just kidding. But Marvin and I love it. So, super cute, looking like a watermelon. So now that green is still drying, so I don't wanna get too close to that. So it's gonna dot off. You could use white or you could mix the ivory and the white like I just did. And I'm just dotting it across here because I want it to look fleshy-like. And it doesn't have to be perfect, even though I do want it to be perfect, I'm not gonna lie. Cool. And let's, since we got a little bit more paint, let's go over it one more time. Cool. Love it. What do y'all think? It's starting to look like a watermelon. So now we got to add the seeds. Y'all are gonna love them. So now we got those. Now let's go ahead. I don't think that little ladybug is ready for dot shit. <laughs> we might want to leave her alone. She's still over there drying and getting herself together. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and start adding dots to this little ladybug. But I kind of think that I want the dots to be a little bit bigger. I don't know. I'm being picky. Let's just add a few and be happy about it. Okay. And now I turn it around. I'm just gonna add a few more to the other side. Aren't they the cutest things ever? So now, just gonna keep dotting. You decide where you want them to go. People ask me all the time, like, where do you get your earrings from? And I need to order business cards to have my Etsy website on, and I'm not good about that. Or just keep a QR code on my phone. That's what I should do. So for you all that don't know, I do have an Etsy store. I'll put the link in the description box. I had a $5 off coupon code. I think it's still on there. So if you want to get $5 off, um, just favorite an item on there. You'll get a $5 off coupon to use on any of the earrings that are on there and you can shop to your heart's content. So I'm also gonna try to go ahead and touch up this red paint if I can on this one right here. But again, the black is so stark. I'm gonna see if I can fix it up a little bit. I think it did good. So of course it's gonna take some time for this one to dry. So I'm gonna leave those alone. And then what I'm gonna do while they're drying, we're gonna go ahead and put the ladybugs on the other earring and they are all really wet. So we're gonna leave them alone after this and then we'll be back to finish them up. I'm gonna add a little bit more paint. Seems like it's spreading out, so. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know if y'all watched this movie called The Wind. It was supposed to be like a scary movie, I think, even though I try not to watch anything that's too scary. Marvin and I watched it last, the night before like last, and last night, that had to be one of the worst movies I've seen. It was terrible. It was just weird. I, don't, I still don't understand what was going on. And when it ended, I didn't understand what was going on. But that's probably because I don't need to be watching scary movies, right? Isn't real life, some people in real life are scary enough. So let's keep adding our dots. I want to put one more in the end. Okay. It's weird because I'm using the same tool on all of them, but some of the dots are big and some of the dots are small. I'm like, this little dotting tool has a mind of its complete home. But nevertheless, they're cute. So I'm just touching some of them up and adding a few more. And probably getting carried away, but it doesn't matter. It's just going to be a super speckled ladybug, and it just is what it is. <laughs> it's a North Carolina ladybug. Okay. Even though our ladybugs look kind of yellow and orange, I'm like, uh-uh, hello. No, no, ma'am, no, sir. Where are the red ladybugs, right? So look how cute they are. They're looking right ladybugish. So I'm going to put them over there to dry. Super cute. And then we're going to come back after they're completely dry because I don't want to mess mess them up and we're gonna do the um the white trim on them to really make them pop so i do want to go ahead and try to add i have to go pick miriam up she works on the coffee truck with my brother and sister i don't know if i told you my brother and brother-in-law and my sister have a coffee truck it's called hollywood java they have the best coffee i keep telling them they should be a franchise i think they will be one day a mobile truck franchise so i want to go ahead and put the dots on here before i go Hopefully it'll let me be great. I don't want to push the envelope because it's wet over there. Like remember that red paint's wet right there. So let's do that. It kind of puts me in the mind of the strawberry earrings we made. Only God could have created ladybugs with all these sweet, cute little spots on them. I see. I saw things at the aquarium when we went. I was like, only God could have created this. I mean, neon blue fish, hot pink frogs, like, but you know they got to be poisonous. Bright blue frogs, like, only God could have made them. I ate at a place called Shake Shack for the first time. It was pretty good. We ate there in Baltimore. And I had never been to the Baltimore Aquarium, so we did that. It was nice. That was an impressive aquarium. I still like the North Carolina one better, no offense, Baltimore, but it was nice. But I did like how big it was and that it had there's so much glass and water you could look at the whole time. Okay, so I saw where I need to touch up the pink on the watermelon right here. So while everything's drying, I'm just going to go ahead and give it one more brush through and then everything can be drying at the same time. Might hear my husband working in the kitchen. So one more brush through for this one too. And look, I'll move all this out of the way so you can see it. So the watermelons are coming together. They're looking like watermelons. The ladybugs are ladybugging it up. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see them. Of course, you can see my mistakes until I, until I get them fixed as well. So no judging that. Okay, okay guys. So while our lady ladybugs are drying, I love that movie. I think it was Ants. Wasn't it the movie Ants where the ladybug was like, why I got to be a lady? Or why do I have to be a lady? It was all indignant about the fact it was being called a ladybug. That was so funny to me. But anyway, so let's go ahead and add our watermelon seeds. 
So I lost my dotting tool. Let me see what I did with it. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so you're gonna take, and we're gonna paint the back, but let's put our seeds on first. And the back, of course, can be any color you want. I'm probably gonna do like the green and pink mix on the back, just because there's paint already back there. So I wanna do a marbled effect so they don't have to worry trying to do a solid color and then it doesn't wanna cover it well. So let's use the same black that we already have. And then we're just gonna do watermelon seeds. And I'm not trying to do dots. I'm kind of doing a dot and a drag because I wanted to look like a seed. So I'm putting the, the, um, the ball down and I'm pulling it forward. I do like seedless watermelon, but we're gonna pretend this is a real seed, a watermelon with seeds. I love spitting watermelon seeds, not at people. I used to spit them at my sister though, but just outside. I don't know, there's something comforting and relaxing about that in a weird way. I don't know, I'm weird, I guess. Aren't we all weird? The word says we're fearfully and wonderfully made. How stinking cute are these? Ta-da! So cute. I am probably gonna add some shine to those because I think they'll just be really pretty glossed over. Not sure yet, but let's do this one. Then I gotta go pick up my Miriam. She gets off at eight. She was only working from six to eight today. So of course you can decide how many seeds go in your watermelon. It can be some seeds or none, or none, but I just really wanted this to come across that when someone sees it, oh, those are watermelons. Cute. Oh, and I kind of feel like I want something right there. Okay. I kind of want something right there too. <gasps> ah, super cute. So now we're gonna let those dry. I need to put one more over here to match up where we did it over there. Okay. Off to see the wizard. So we're gonna let that dry. And then I noticed that these are drying really well down in there. I don't want the video to be too long. So what I'm gonna do is let them dry. I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna the, when I come back, the backs will already be painted of the watermelons. The holes will already be drilled. And then I'm going to show you one of the ladybugs where I'm putting on the white. And then that way the video won't be so long. But of course, you can always skip past all this stuff, okay? Be okay, right back. you guys. So now I'm going to use the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic to put some shine to our little watermelon earrings. And then this way, they'll have time to dry. I was going to drill the hole, but then that's just going to... This is going to go into the hole. So I'm like, we'll just wait. These would be really cute if you left them also as post earrings. However, we're not gonna be hanging earrings. And they are gonna be so pretty. They're already pretty like they are, but this dimensional magic is gonna make them pop. So I'm gonna put some shine on here and let them dry. They'll be dry within a couple of hours, but I normally let them dry overnight just to be sure. But again, They'll dry within a, about two to three hours, completely dry. But I just encourage you, give them time, depending on like the humidity in your home or if you have the air going or if it's hot where you are, you know, cause different um, materials do different things. So I love this stuff. You can get it from Michael's Hobby Lobby. You can order it online. And I think what I love most about it is it does give everything dimension, but especially by this having those little watermelon seeds on here, it's really going to make them pop out. And it doesn't get sticky and, and cause things to stick together like the triple thick does. I'm a fan of triple thick. I love its gloss like finish, its glass like finish, but I don't like that um, things stick together and react to one another over time. So now I told you when we came back that the white lines would be on the ladybugs and they're not, I'm sorry. So <laughs> let's go ahead and add the white lines to the ladybugs. I think I need to get another plate though. I don't know, let's see. Let's see if we can put it right here. It seems to be dry right there. And I'm just do a big pile of it, of the white paint. So that way in case it wants to act funny or something. We don't have to worry about that. So I'm just gonna basically do a real 
Oh, somehow I got green paint on my hand. Let me go wash my hands. How that happened. So I'm gonna um, just put the detailing on one of the ladybugs on camera and then we'll do another one off camera. And all I'm doing is following the edge of the black that we have. Just to make the ladybug pop so cute. I'm screaming. Ladybug cuteness overload. And I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to try to go back over this twice. Because I feel like it might make the line too thick, number one. And number two, it may mess something up. So I'm like, I'm not going to be trying to be a perfectionist. Which is a part of my personality makeup. <laughs> right? So now let's get our smaller dotting tool. That's so weird. So I'm going for one of the smaller dots. It's real tiny. So you can hardly see it. And I'm gonna go over the dots here. And I'm using, I might use an even smaller end because I don't want it to cover up the black dots. So what I'm doing is it's kind of off to the edge of the black dots so it doesn't cover it up. Let's do this side. I don't know, I guess I should go on and do both of them while we're on here together, why not? And then all we'll have left to do is let everything dry and put holes in it. How cute is that? I love them. They are absolutely precious. And they're not even finished yet. So just keep dotting. Oh no. Yeah, why'd I do that? I completely forgot the white paint was still wet right there and put my big old finger in it. Nevertheless, easy fix. And then I can always go and trim back over that black right there. I am always doing something, but at least you know I'm normal. Okay, so just a few more dotsy lotsies. I'm gonna do the those two off camera so this doesn't go so long. We're already at about 45 minutes. But of course you can always fast forward. So I'm going to Fix my little mistake right there by just taking some of the black paint, the real black, good black paint. Here we go. Fixed it right up. And I'm gonna sit them over there to dry. So I'm gonna go do these little dots right here off camera, I'll be right back.